the magic thing here about attracting a safer relationship is not about attracting someone who's just healed or not about attracting someone who's gone through what you've gone through, but it's attracting someone who's safe enough within themselves that they can hold that safe space for you. That person does not have to have been sexually abused or emotionally abused or traumatized. That person could have been, but they don't need to be those things to have empathy for you. They don't need to be those things to hold a safe space for you. They just need to be someone who's compassionate enough with their story, recognizes their own wounds, so that when you bring your story to them, they see your difference as your power. They see your difference as your opportunity. They see your difference in what you've gone through as a recognition for where you can grow and where you can heal and what your life journey is at. But the problem arises, now listen carefully. If you're watching this live and you've attracted people in your life who keep shaming you, judging you, rejecting you, listen to this carefully. First, if you're listening on this live and you want to follow my page, I'm gonna say something honest to you. You have to take fucking responsibility of your own life, okay? I am not someone who promotes on my page that the world sucks, people are shitty, life is gonna be bad, relationships are gonna be like shitty, like there's assholes out there, that's not me. I am here to empower you. And to empower you, I have to first make you responsible. Responsible that this life you have is what you can take and make magic of it. So first, if you want to take that fucking accountability and you want to attract a good life, say this first in the chat. Say, yes, I want to accept responsibility for a beautiful life. Just say, yes, me, fuck yes, yes, please, I'm a fucking kill it. Whatever you want, say that first. Because that is you taking accountability for yourself saying, if I have uh, live in this life of like challenge and difficulty and rejection, I have the power to change it. Only then, I'm being honest with you, will you want to listen to anything what I have to say. I'm not someone who's going to tell you like, oh yeah, you know, life sucks, let's find the criminals, let's find these bad people who are fucking up. No. You have the power to create an amazing life or also a challenging life. Both of them come with reason. So take that fucking responsibility. Yes, I want to see you guys say, fuck yes, fuck yes, I love it. Now, there's something interesting you're doing here that you don't realize. You're pulling yourself out of the victimized zone. This is a little tip I'm giving you, a little trick I've, I've made you do. By you taking responsibility for your life, you're pulling yourself out of a victimized space where you believe life is just happening to you. And instead now you're taking responsibility to say life is happening for you. It's giving you an opportunity to live better. Something I really tried over the last like 15 years which has changed my life and a mentor has helped me um, live this is, he said if, you, if you're just sitting here Yats to tell me your life is difficult, then that means you're sitting here also with the same space to tell me you have no control. So if you have no control, why are you trying to come here and try and find a solution? There's nothing you can do. You just have to sit here and cry and say, I accept all the trauma that comes to me. But he said, if you're coming here to say, I want to find a way to change my life, then you have to accept that if it's not going well, or if something's not moving in the direction, you have to go back and say, what's the feedback I need to give myself to change this? Because if you accept that, you can create a beautiful, powerful, magnificent life. So now let's get back to the point I was talking about. If we attract relationships, that are not safe or relationships where we find people criticizing, shaming or judging us, there's two things that happen in there. The first thing I'll talk about is the external. I like to talk about the external as a mirror for what we're going through because again, for me it's more important what you're going through and what you can change and how you can create a better beautiful life. When someone is shaming you, judging you or criticizing you, listen carefully, they are projecting their own wounds onto you. There's a very powerful saying, a hurt person hurts a person. Which means, even if someone comes up to you, or even if you go up to someone and you have like pains, pain, stories, traumas, whatever, they don't have to love you for it. They don't have to validate everything you're going through. They don't have to say, yes, you're right and whatever. But at the same point, they don't have to shame you either. They don't have to judge you. They don't have to make you feel small. They don't have to criticize you. So if someone is doing that, they are doing it because of their own fucking insecurities. Listen to this carefully first. They're doing it because of their own insecurities. For example, if you're an uh, anxious person, right? This is called shadow work. If you're an anxious person and you go up to an avoidant and you're like really needy and you're like, oh, I want love and, and you really need to attach to them to feel safe. They have never had anyone really validate them emotionally. They have never had anyone hold space for their emotions. When they were growing up, when they tried to hug their dads or their moms, they were shamed and said, you're such a sissy, you're such a nancy, emotions don't have space for boys or girls don't act this way, any of those things. So now when you go to them with love, it freaks them the fuck out, not because of you, but it's because they've never had it. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to process it. They feel so insecure in the fact that they're unlovable because their emotions were not processed that they have no choice in that moment but to shame or judge you so they can push you away. 
they have no choice in that moment but to criticize you because you remind them of something that they never really had the chance to have, emotional intimacy. In you being so open with your emotions, you freak them out because they've never had that and it's scary for them. Now on the opposite end, the same thing is true. When they come to you and you know um, they are pulling back a little bit, they seem like so grounded, they seem like they don't have to text you and respond every minute. They seem like they could go for fucking days without feeling like they need to attach. They freak you out too. Because for you in that moment, you've never had the opportunity to have that autonomy to say, I can be completely fine in a relationship even if my partner is not texting me immediately. They, it freaks us out because those are both our coping mechanisms. So first, remember this. If you, are, if you have someone who's rejecting you, shaming you, or judging you in your life for who you really are, even if what you're going through is something difficult and bad, they should be able to hold space, offer some kind of like support system or whatever, help you and direct you through a solution, but they should not be shitting on you. First and foremost, remember that. Anybody who's doing that deserves no space in your life. And the reason they're doing it is because of their own bullshit. Now we go to a deeper point. And this is the point of where I said, fuck yes, accept responsibility. The biggest question is, Yats, why the fuck am I attracting these people into my life? Why am I continuously attracting people who reject me instead of accepting me? Why am I attracting people who continuously shame me instead of holding space? Why am I attracting people who break me down instead of lifting me up? Or at the very least, who just stand next to me? Why am I attracting people who make me feel small so that they can feel something else or that they can feel bigger? That is the golden question. Because that is what you can change. You can't change them. You can't heal them, you can't uh, you know, evolve them as much as your wounds may want to, your attraction and your attachment may want to. You can't do that. The only thing you can do is work on yourself and hope that that's what will influence them. So if any of you want to know why, why am I attracting this pattern or these people or this life that's suppressing me, that's shaming me, that's judging me, that's making me feel small, that's not accepting me for who I am. Throw in the chat if you want to know why and I'm going to answer you in just a few questions. Hey, and welcome to the Inner Yats YouTube page. If you like our content, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button so that you get more of these amazing videos that keep coming your way.